everybody and welcome to an amazing 2015 here at Vivesco Mobile Health and Fitness. This is the first newsletter of the year and as I said um, I'm coming to you via video now so this is the very first time for me doing this. I'm feeling a bit awkward talking to a camera so please bear with me and um, I'm sure over time those videos will become a bit better hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so again, Happy New Year, I hope everyone um, had a very nice Christmas, beautiful New Year's Eve, whatever you guys have been up to, hope you're not feeling too sore, not too headachey now, but I'm also sure that a lot of you have some um, New Year's resolutions, as most of us do, um, a lot of us don't really stick to them for quite some time if they ever get started on them, but knowing you guys, I'm sure whatever you've um, got in mind for this year, you'll be able to pursue. And you know that I'm here for anything, if you need anything in regards to health and lifestyle, fitness, um, if it's just questions you've got, just give me a call, send me an email. Um, you don't necessarily need you know, to have sessions with me, but I'm here to help, always happy to help, and um, I wish you all the best for this year to come. Um, so yeah, today just ex excuse my red face, I've just finished um, a training session, so I'll be making my juice at the end of this, um, tying in with the newsletter anyway, so um, yeah, see how we go with that, but just excuse my slightly red face. Um, so this newsletter this time is not so much information about stuff, it's really more um, information about my business this time, um, I just want to let you guys know what I've been up to, what I will be up to, changes that are happening, um, getting you up to date with everything that's going on, what to expect, and then we're going to get back into um, feeding you guys a bit more information on topics regarding massage, fascia, training, um, all things health and fitness related further down the track. So um, for today, I'd like to um, remind you that the new prices are in place since the first of this month. Um, Head to the website, have a look on the written part of this newsletter, you can find the link, but if you just go on the home page, go on the um, About Vivesco tab and just hover above that and a little thingy comes up and you've got it right down the bottom um, with your fees and policies. And just click on that and that will lead you right to the page with all the information you need for um, prices. Um, one thing I do need to stress a little bit is the policies regarding to cancellation of sessions. The policy has been in place ever since I launched my business, however, I didn't necessarily um, always stuck to it myself um, because in the end, you know, if, if I can help people out to go and get active or get a massage, get some stress relief, whatever it is they need, um, it, it, I always felt it would be contraindicated for from, from my business as well to actually get it running if I make people pay for sessions that haven't happened. However, now that business is getting busier, which is awesome, and a lot of thanks to you guys that stuck with me over the years. Um, so big thanks to you to making this all happening. Um, however, unfortunately, it's coming to a point where I do have to reinforce this policy about cancellation, um, simply because if people cancel on me last minute, I'm, I'm missing out obviously on, on that session, but also on possible other sessions that I could have booked instead had I known that that session time might be available um, and therefore maybe even lose new potential clients if it's someone that rang up for the first time. So the policy is that any cancellations before 24 hours before the session I am more than happy and I will refund if the session has been prepaid or reschedule the session, no worries, no matter what the reason for cancellation, if you're just not in the mood, <laughs> you know, um, whatever the reason is, as long as I get more than 24 hours notice, this session will be refunded or rescheduled. However, anything less than 24 hours, um, because at least in, a, in 24 hours, it gives me time to rearrange things to, you know, get other people to book in onto that day, onto that session. Um, so anything less than 24 hours, I'm afraid, I will have to charge the session, um, and but again, however, as most of you will be aware, I'm not, I haven't put any direct debits or anything in place yet. I'm not set up with the banks in that way, so it's, it's still all just by bank transfer, cash um, payments. So in the end, I can't really force you to pay those sessions should you cancel less than 24 hours. 
Um, so all I can really do is, and what I will be doing is sending out an invoice for that missed session. If you pay it in the end, is entirely up to you. Um, there will be no harsh feelings from my side, I promise, hands down, because I'm, I'm aware that this is just part of how my business is structured at the moment. So all I'm doing is that I'm really appealing to your conscience in a way and just, you know, do the right thing. Um, if, if you have to cancel because it, it was something completely unavoidable, unavoidable like um, sudden illness, accidents, heading to go to a hospital, whatever, um, you know, more than happy to have a chat about also then reschedule or refund that session. Um, you guys know that, as I said, I'm, I'm all about helping. Um, but I'm not happy to help if I get taken advantage of, if um, that makes any sense. So I hope you guys understand. And um, But as I said, if you do decide you know, that the reason you had to cancel in your eyes was unavoidable, where I would have said, well, you've got a choice there. <laughs> um, again, as I said, you know, it's, it's appealing to your conscience um, and it's up to you what you're going to do in the end. So that's where we stand on that one. Um, in line with all this, as I said, my business is getting busier, so um, I've decided by the end of 2014, I quit all my side jobs I had along the side, um, which you know were like three to four jobs <laughs> at a time sometimes over the last few years. Um, so now from 2015, I'm 100% head in the game for my business with Vesco Mobile Health and Fitness. It is my passion to help people, make people feel better about themselves, um, move freer, feel excited about moving around. And you know, at the end of a long day, instead of wanting to actually sit in front of the TV and just go, oh, I'm so buggered, I should go, all right, I'm going for a walk now because I know it's gonna make me feel heaps, heaps better. So I am super excited that, as a, and again, thanks to all of you that this is actually happening, that my business is growing, um, that I can do and live what my passion is all about. Um, to help people, to empower people, to re create body awareness, reconnect with themselves and reconnect with nature and, and you know, what, what this life is all about, which I believe is just experiencing living in the now and feeling good about it and um, yeah. Anyway, so because of um, me cancelling or uh, quitting all my other jobs, um, obviously I've got a bit more time on my sleeve. So if you guys want to book in for more sessions, hey, feel free. I'm more than happy for you to do that. Um, what, what I really ask you though is to, as I said, to, to keep, like, keep helping me to spread my passion and, and spread um, the knowledge that I have and the experiences that I've been through via you guys talking to friends, family, anyone you over here talking about that they're sore, they've been in pain, they've had an injury, they're afraid of getting back into exercise because they have been injured or that they don't see the point getting into exercise because they believe that they're not able to do it anyway. Any of those cases, if you hear or know of anyone that you know suits that picture, please tell them about what you've been achieving since you've been working with, with me. Um, how it has changed your ability of moving your body or going through everyday life. Um, if it's easier for you doing your job on a day-to-day -day base, playing with your kids. Um, picking up a hobby again that you haven't been able to do for a long time, anything like that. Um, word of mouth is still the best advertisement that I can get. So um, that would be awesome if you guys could just go and spread the word and share what you've been experiencing working with me and what we have been achieving, what you have been achieving for yourself, um, applying what I'm teaching and uh, what I'm doing. So that would be awesome, absolutely amazing. Um, I've got a little cheat sheet down there just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. So um, again, along all those lines, as I said, everything kind of ties in together. Um, I just want to tell you that um, I'm, what I've got planned kind of for this year to come um, in terms of making sure that I provide the best treatment um, sessions, whatever you want to call it, possible at this point in time. So. Um, I'm always doing courses, adding on knowledge, um, refreshing knowledge of certain things. So for example, I've got my first aid coming up that needs refreshment um, to make sure that should anything ever happen, which so far it hasn't, so fingers crossed it will stay like that, um, to make sure that I can help out in those situations. Um, 
Furthermore, I'm already booked in for two courses this year, which I'm very excited about. Um, they're both courses um, all about movement, all about fascia. Um, one is at the end of February, and there's only one person in the world, uh, in Australia, sorry, one person in Australia who is allowed to teach the actual um, manual therapy parts of the anatomy trains that um, were created by, or that were explained um, and exposed by Thomas Myers. Um, who's in the US. So Julia, um, Julie is the only person who's allowed to, to, do, to do courses over here to um, pass on that knowledge. So I'm very excited that I've managed to book in with her. It's a three-day course, a lot about body reading, so I'll be learning a lot more just watching people, watching how they move, um, which I've already been doing, but it's always good to you know maybe learn a few more tricks here and there or um, other aspects to, to look out for. So this, that's very exciting. And also in August, I'm heading over to New Zealand, Queensland. So that's cool because I've never been there before. Um, and I'll be doing a three-day mentorship with Ian O'Dwyer. Um, he's the person that took the anatomy trains, which had been originally um, written and everything for manual therapists and took it into the fitness part of things and created movements to unglue the fascia that got stuck. Um, he's the first person that I'm aware of that, that's done that. There's a few that kind of followed along by now, but he's the only one that brings it in combination with, with the anatomy drains as well. So the mentorship again is going to go for three days. Um, I'll probably make it a week just with flights and everything. Um, so I'll be away for here yeah, just under a week in August. Um, and being, being a mentorship, it's going to be way closer, less people attend than in, than in courses or seminars. Um, a lot more one-on-one -on -one time and people, um, peers in my field who's done the mentorships before, they come back and had, it had just blown their mind. Um, so yeah, again, very excited about heading over to do that. So that's all about this. Um, as I said, um, you know, new year ahead of us, um, a lot of things to come. Um, I've got big plans uh, for where I want my business to head. And um, I hope that you guys are going to stick around with me and help me, as I said, to just put my passion out there and help as many people as I possibly can. Um, last but not least, I'm going to um, put my little juice here together for you guys. Um, as I said, I've just done some training myself and I definitely need some rehydration now. So I've decided to go for some cucumber. Uh, some zucchini, some celery. Um, I'm going for a, a veg juice, um, just because I feel like it. Um, I've got some lemon ice cubes in there, so they should... Um, I could have crushed them, but I'm lazy. I don't want to use the blender as well. Um, so they're just going to dilute over time, melt. And I've got actually some kale already sitting in here that I had frozen as well. So that's like a, a good hand, two hands full of, of kale leaves. So I'm just going to get this started. And um, this leafy greens, um, that doesn't always come out a lot of stuff and it tends to get a bit um, foamy as well. But we're just going to chuck all this in here. And I'll be cutting this video here now to make it a bit shorter because you don't need to sit there and wait for the next few minutes when to get this juice done. So um, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so I've just got all the last bits and pieces in here now, and as you can see it's starting to um, be pretty much done. I'll let that run for a bit longer. Um, I'm using a cold press juice here, a juicer, um, so the, the waste is, you know, there's still waste there, but it's, it's pretty dry um, compared to the centrifugal juicer here in the back. Um, and the juice itself, because the stuff, the fruit or the veg, it all gets crushed and pressed rather than shredded. So mm, all the enzymes and that apparently, according to some studies and stuff, um, the enzymes stay active and the juice stays fresher for that um, longer as well. Um, so yeah, turn that off now, that, change that, um, just got to grab a glass and a nice beautiful green colour. Those um, lemon ice cubes are unfortunately not quite melted yet, so I'm guessing the juice might be quite strong in taste. The lemon is usually just to, you know, make it a bit more pal palatable. Mm. Yeah, that is light green. Anyway, 
cucumber, zucchini, lemon, and some kale. Really, really good um, rehydration drink. If you want to add some more, um, coconut, coconut water is really good because it comes with all the extra electrolytes. Um, I don't have any in the pantry, so I just have to go without today. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it and um, looking forward to doing quite a few more of those and um, hope you enjoy. See you next time. really nice. See ya!